Come on, come on. Yeah, may have to angle that a little bit different, I think. But uh, yeah, 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 needs to come back that way and back. Hey, wait a minute. Fuck the rock. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, uh, we introduced the new 5.2 swap that we're doing in my 2019 Mustang GT. Here with a couple of buddies of mine. You guys know them. Cooler731 and Speed Addict 731 on YouTube. Big shout out to these guys for helping us out. But this is our new RPG built 1400 horsepower 5.2 swap. Yep, so the stroke is Coyote. It's got a Gen 3 uh, crank in it and Gen 3 heads from the Coyote, but uh, it's kind of, we're gonna call it like a Super Coyote. We're gonna call it Project Alice. So uh, Chris over here, Cooler 7 through 1, picked the name. I think it's really cool and it's fitting because we have a whole new direction of the build. Everything is changing with the car. If you guys are keeping up with the videos and it's being called the Red Queen from here on out because it fits. Today's mission is to get this thing into the garage back here and start to mount it on the K-member. And that's gonna actually begin our journey rebuilding the car up here is the K-member. Because I used to have, if you guys know and remember, the BMR Drag Race K-member, Drag Race specific, but there's a new one that's out. Big shout out to BMR Suspension and Lethal Performance. Guys, by the way, discount codes in the video descriptions on pretty much everything that you see on this car save you some money because this K-member is a little bit different and pretty special. Let's go in here and take a look. I like that thing, it's pretty cool. Do, do, do. Figure it out. There we go. There we go. There we go. That thing like it's got a stall in it. Yeah, you gotta give it some gas. Put that thing on the drag strip, see what happens. So 5-2 swap that thing, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Tell me all these swaps and everything. Yeah? On oh, their mind's covered up now. Oh. The wheels? Yeah. That's for your channel, bro. I'm not gonna steal your thunder. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Wheel brothers don't have. We both got broken. <sighs> I know, I know. They haven't seen it yet. We have some new hot Velgan wheels in here, but that's for another video. Today's video is all about right here. So we got pieces, before we get to this really, we got pieces you guys are gonna see in the upcoming videos. Uh, we are stripping the car apart. So I wanna just kinda paint the canvas a little bit about what's going on. This is the condition of the car and uh, all its glory. Look at it, ripped apart again. But don't worry, have faith, because we got the new boost. We got car parts everywhere. We got a big old seven and a half gallon ice tank. Big shout out again, Lethal Performance. Stay tuned for all of the stuff. I mean, when I say everything is changing on the car, I mean all of it. So yeah, the car's had a hard life, but uh, we're gonna give it a new one. So new name, new project, new direction. Everything is changing. Um, but today is the K-member, and uh, right down here is what it's all about. So check this out, man. This one over here is the drag-specific K-member, and pretty sweet. Now, I, this is a Magna Ride car, which I'm going to touch on for a little bit because I had to basically fab up a bracket here. If you guys remember, deep in the videos, I was able to get it work to work, but uh, kind of a little bit redneck, I guess. But the biggest takeaways from the drag race K-member is it's pretty lightweight. You save like 50 pounds but there is no room there's no ability I should say to run like a factory sway bar and uh, there is no kickback legs or anything like that there's no adjustability uh, as far as position of your a arms I've loved it nonetheless it does the job very well use some polyurethane bushings for the motor mounts and it is very race car but the biggest takeaway from this is the weight savings you save a ton of weight off the front end of the car now what we have here is the new, and you can see how much different it is, the new BMR. I think it's a KM760. I don't know. I'll have to link the part number down in the description and in the video so you guys know what to shop for. But you can go to Lethal Performance because they pretty much bought them all. And then, uh, yeah. So, again, discount codes in the description. Or go to BMRSuspension.com and use promo code Xander7 to save some money on these. What is different? Honestly, it looks more kind of maybe street friendly, road course friendly what we see here is which is a nice pleasant surprise a lot more rigidity you see the structure the metal everything is a little bit more robust going back and forth and we have different slots here for adjustability of the a arm so maybe you are you know lowering the car quite a bit plus my favorite thing is we don't have to use some kind of a redneck style I hate to use that term but a jerry-rigged Hey. ID. Hey, what's up? Let's talk about my beef. <laughs> 
No, but we don't have to fab up any kind of a, a special bracket or anything like that because it's already got magnetized slots in here. And just like different slots down here, we also have different levels of adjustability here as far as height. The coolest thing is that it also uses the factory motor mounts. Now, BMR also makes some heavy duty mounts that are probably your thing that also fit here. But let me grab a motor mount and show you exactly how this works. Oh, my poor car. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, we got to grab these too. So let's get this first. Do, do, do. Motor mounts. I dropped one of the things, but it's going to fit down in there like that. Now, I will say that the Drag Race from K-Member, you can daily drive on this absolutely 100%. I did for a while. But the new one uses the factory motor mounts, or again, you can get the other upgraded uh, polyurethane, which will make it kind of similar to the race car version, I guess. The thing though, is if you are using the polyurethane, you're gonna feel a little bit more in the steering wheel. It's gonna feel more race car. Not everybody wants that though. So what we wanna do with the new build is make it fast, yes. We're gonna chase well over 1,000 horsepower with the built engine, yes. Really cool that we're doing a special uh, new form of boost and the special 5.2 that's built from RPG, but uh, we do want to give the car back some street manners, and I think that this is going to be the trick. So, a little bit more comfort. Do you guys need some help? Are you sure? I love that thing. I, I love that thing. It's the I best know. thing since sliced bread. It is. Five, two. I'm so excited. Right, come on. They specifically told me, they commanded me to not help them to make this video because I was just going to not micro vlog. I was just going to like time lapse the whole thing and get through it and just be like, yeah, the car's back together. But we do have to show the steps. So I agree with them. So I'm about to help them. I got to wrap up this video. I just want to highlight what's going on here. So factory motor mount option gives the car will give you the ability to retain some of that comfort but you can also upgrade to the stiffer motor mounts if you want to but we're not done i love this thing yeah how much did this cost the little plate yeah i forget how much it was i bought it from motion race works motion I race works i use it when i'm uh using the uh support to hold the engine up when i'm dropping the k member yeah i use it to lift the coyotes around the shop i mean it's it's got different, so you can lift it up if you want to angle it. I mean, it's comes with the awesome. screws, and you can actually put them back here when yeah, you're done. Yeah, screws that comes with the screws screwed in. Then when you're done with it, you put the screws back in the little holders. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, if you do what we do, this is kind of worth its weight yeah, in gold, it. honestly. I've seen it online and bought it, and man, I've used the crap out of it. Yeah, about almost it for this K member. It allows you to use a sway bar or not, but there's one thing that's missing back here. I want to show you. It gives us the ability. I gotta grab them to run the back legs. Can't show that yet. I'll go over the box. That way they can't see it. They still see it. It says it right there. Oh well. I guess e e Easter eggs in the video. I don't know. Easter eggs in the video. I guess. But this guy right here is the back legs. So kind of. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I've only got so many hands, you know? Now this is really cool because, kind of like the factory came, remember, if you want to, you can run these in the back. It comes with the uh, bolts and everything, and it uh, allows you, I've got this backwards, it's like this, but allows more structure and stability out of this K-member. So in my opinion, this K-member is kind of like a one-trick pony. Or no, it's not a one-trick pony. It might, uh, f me. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. In my it's, not, it's not budget friendly, by the way. It's not budget friendly? No, I don't know, maybe. No, it's like 500 bucks. I, I like if I like this one. Yeah, what do you like? You're all out drag. Like that's what your that's what your purpose is yep. for the build. This one. 100%. If you want street drag, but you want to take a little weight out of your car? Yep. All day. This one weighs a little I'm bit glad more. They have both now. Yeah. It gives people a choice. A choice, yeah. 100%. So, this is what I was asking for way back when was the option to run like Magnaride, mm -hmm. which we have adjustability. You can run these or not. You can use different types of motor mounts, uh, sway bar option or not. So, if you leave these off, which I'm not sure if we will, it kind of mimics the drag, but we get more comfort with uh the factory motor mounts yeah i say street strip or road course that one yep drag race only yeah agreed. yep so that one weighs less this is a little bit more and now that one is streetable you did it for a while i did it for a long time for a while, but i like that one yeah I like, so. I like them both but if i want a street strip that one's the one i'm gonna use yes 
yeah so new upgrades new hotness uh we got a transmission no converter lord knows what happened to it and never came back with the car but uh we got a turbo kit i've got to do another guy's car and lots of other goodies you see here all those boxes back here is the new boost we have not revealed it yet this is really fancy too because this is our midnight performance built transmission that's going to go into the red queen over here so all right that's pretty much it in a wrap i'm not going to give you all of the secrets that we're doing not yet stay tuned to the channel and let's have some fun so yeah it's unfortunate it's happened again but uh you know things go on and uh we're just going to go in a different direction with the build I guys i hope that you understand and i think that when you see all the videos come together it's going to make a lot of sense for a lot of you if you know what form of boost we are doing to the car please comment down below and let's see if you can get it right but until then like we got headers too Woo, we gave another easter egg i'm just really excited guys but uh, that's going to wrap up this video thank you so much for watching and hopefully Hopefully, this will help you decide which K member from BM Arbor that you want because they are vastly different, but you can do similar things. That doesn't make any sense. It's backwards, but whatever. I like them both. You pick. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.